Hi QVC family. Today I am going to be talking about how I style my platinum blonde hair fearlessly using Bumble and Bumble products. My name is Shannon. I am a Bumble and Bumble regional business consultant based in New England. I specialize in educating hairstylists on how to use the Bumble and Bumble products. Today, I am lucky enough to be filming in one of my Bumble and Bumble partner salons, Bliss Salon of Marblehead, Massachusetts. It's absolutely amazing. And if you live in the area, I highly suggest visiting. I am definitely on the high end of the spectrum of compromised hair, but so many of us are using hot tools, over styling, even lifting their hair, maybe not to the same level as I am, but all of that definitely creates opportunities for our hair. So what you're seeing now is my hair air dried. Um, it's a couple days since I've washed it. I also don't have any product from it. You can see it's still shiny because I've been using Bumble and Bumble. However, um, there are definitely some fuzz around the perimeters that I definitely want to smooth down. So I'm going to go have the team wash my hair with the Bond Building Shampoo and Bond Building Conditioner. I'll be right back. Hello again, I am back. My hair is nice and clean. The shampoo and the conditioner just smell amazing and has such a luxurious lather, but the conditioner just leaves this beautiful moisture and slip in my hair. Well, my hair is actually pretty fine, but because it is so sensitized, I do need that moisture, but I don't want it to heavily weigh my hair down. The Bond Building Shampoo and Conditioner absolutely do not do that. The first thing I am going to do after I either get out of the shower or get out of the shampoo bowl for my time here at Bliss Salon, I'm actually going to go in with our hairdresser's invisible oil primer. Many of you are using primers for your skin prior to putting on your foundation and makeup. What primers do for your hair is really cool and actually quite similar to what they're doing in makeup. So not only is the hairdresser's invisible oil primer going to moisturize, detangle, I'm going to shake it up and then I'm going to spray pretty liberally into my hair. And you actually will immediately feel like a beautiful slip, a beautiful softness as you're putting it through your hair. I'm spraying a decent amount of this onto my hair, roots to ends, because I am actually double processed with a root shadow. So underneath this, that was on purpose, and underneath this is actually bleached as well. My hair feels like a thousand times better after I put this in my hair. So I'm really gonna press it in, run my hands through my hair, but then I'm also gonna comb it through. And the comb just glides through my hair. It's super, super cool. Whereas if I had tried to brush it prior to putting in the hairdresser's invisible oil, my brush would have gotten stuck. I do not want that. So I'm actually gonna go into and just do a little bit of extra moisture absorption. You'll notice that I'm not rubbing the towel onto my hair. The towel's purpose, especially for hair that is curly, that is a bit coarser, that is compromised with mine, you really don't want to rub. You want to press to help absorb the water. And for me, the longer I can let my hair air dry, the less time I have to have heat on my hair, especially right now, the better. So the next product I'm going to be putting in is another favorite from the Bond Building line. This is the Repair Styling Cream. So this actually has the very same technology as a shampoo and conditioner, where it's not just working on the cuticle, which is the outside of your hair. This has heat protection in it. It has just this gorgeous kiss of hold and it also has this really nice shine to it. For my hair, I'm just gonna take about this much. The other thing with these products, and most of Bumble's creams, is you really, really want to work them into your hands. So almost like you're applying hand cream. And then the same goes for the application into your hair. I'm gonna put it, for me, roots to ends, and then also really massage it in because I want it to touch every single hair on my head to have that gorgeous shine, that tiny bit of hold, and that heat protection. So the next thing I'm gonna do is actually brush it through again. I'm actually gonna start styling my hair how I will be blow drying it. I'm gonna do a quick blow dry on my hair. First of all, I'm going to rough dry it, and then I'm actually gonna go in with a boar bristle brush. I love using boar bristle, boar bristle brushes because they glide the hair really nicely. They give a good amount of tension. I also love this because I can get a lot of control with it. And also I don't have to go in with a flat iron or an iron because I can get that control and that movement from this brush. So stay tuned. I'll show you how I do my blow dry really quick and I'll be back with you for my final stylers. I am 
so impressed. You can definitely see much more light reflection in my hair after using the Bond Building Styler and the Shampoo and Conditioner in the same line. My hair feels really soft, feels really strong, and it's really swingy. Like that's something that I really like with my hair. I don't want it to be stiff, I want it to be movable, I want it to be touchable. One thing I did want to mention is I did add a cold shot on the blow dryer at the end of my blow dry. One, it feels really nice, and two, it seals down the cuticles even more. So it adds a little bit more shine and it maintains the memory of the style that you put in your hair. So just a fun little tip for your blow dryer. I can never resist a good finishing product. I'm going to be adding in Brilliantine. So Brilliantine was Bumble and Bumble's very first product. Bumble is known in the hairdressing community for its razor cuts. I actually have a razor cut and this product was designed to give a modern lived in feel to razor cuts. The cool thing is this product came out in the early 90s. It's castor oil based. Castor oil is a big buzzword in the beauty industry right now. So the fact that this product is a full adult now, but yet still has such cutting edge ingredients, it's really, really cool. So small bottle, small amount, especially for my hair length. I am going to use almost even less than a pea. And similar to the Bond Building Styler, I really, really emulsify it into my hands. And then I'm gonna just kind of touch and brush through my hair very gently, especially where I still see a little bit of those perimeter frizzies towards my ends. It just gives me this beautiful pieciness, lived in feel separation without being too heavy or without being greasy feeling. So you can see, definitely, I got rid of a lot of that perimeter fuzz and it just gave me this kind of cool, girl pieciness that I love. Gorgeous. My piece de resistance or the final product I'm going to put in just for an extra little shine. Again, I can't resist finishing products is the Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Dry Oil Spray. This is a really, really light shine spray. I like to call it highlighter for your hair. For any aerosol product that Bumble has, I usually say make a muscle and hold it about 12 inches from your hair and then gently spray in just a few sprays reassess the hair and like i said this just gives me a little bit of extra light reflection it helps with any extra frizzies or any extra flyaways or static that's hanging out it just kind of makes me feel like i'm done so this is like kind of like your highlighter or even your finishing powder for your style Thank you so much for doing my hair with me today. I hope you got some really great ideas and some tips and tricks, and I look forward to seeing you guys again. Thanks. Bye.